Welcome uh, to another review uh, on the channel. Uh, this time, something a little bit more uh, off the cuff, uh, which is reviewing replica firearms to fit onto your Jeep that won't cost you a fortune. Now, in the UK, you couldn't get a real functioning one of these. Uh, so the next best thing is a deactivated version. The old spec DX cost several thousands of pounds and the new spec, nothing works on it. Um, you can't pull any of the bolts, fire off the, the mechanisms or anything. Um, you can literally just lift the, the top cover and squeeze the trigger and it makes a little clicking sound. Um, once again, they're quite expensive as well. So what's the alternative? Uh, and that is obviously a, a replica uh, one, which can be picked up quite cheaply. So today we're gonna to be reviewing this uh, 30 cal Browning machine gun uh, made by a company called Crossfire in Burgess Hill, uh, West Sussex. Uh, that's in the UK for my uh, foreign viewers. Uh, and here it is. Uh, you can see uh, that it's uh, powder coated in black. Um, I've already mounted it to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my gun mount. Uh, so you can see where the uh, black powder coating's uh, worn off here. Uh, the bolt doesn't move. Uh, the trigger doesn't move. Uh, the only things that do move on it are the top cover. Uh, and that's pretty pretty blank inside. Uh, the only thing that you have got is this little threaded uh, bolt that pops up so you can latch on some link ammunition to make it a little bit more uh, authentic. Uh, and the sight uh, flips up and down. Um, and that's it really. Uh, there is a, a good little feature uh, on the underneath, which is it's all hollow inside so in the uk and uh, other countries what they'll do is they'll fit in some pipe work, work and tubing uh, and uh, with the magic of uh, some gas can make it a uh, uh, a gun that actually fires gas so you get a nice little flash at the end um of the muzzle and yeah uh, it, it, it gives you the uh, representation or interpretation that uh, the gun's actually working. Um, but that's something that you can fit at your leisure. Um, this is just uh, basically a blank canvas. Uh, the cooling jacket on the outside. It's all machined uh, parts that have been welded together. Um, and as you'll probably see down there, the barrel is uh, hollow all the way through uh, to get that flash out the ends if you do decide to insert some gas parts. Uh, I'll upload some close up pictures, but uh, it does give a reasonable uh, representation of the 30 cal Browning machine gun. Um, but I'd say that you need to be like a, uh, about two meters away uh, from it for you to consider it being uh, the real steel. Uh, anything closer and you'll know straight away uh, that it's not uh, the real uh, McCoy. Uh, so that's the Browning 30 calibre. Uh, put this to one side and the next thing I'll bring across comes in two parts. One, the barrel. I wonder if you can guess what's coming next. And the second thing is the main body. Uh, and what you have here, <coughs> excuse me, is the Browning 50 caliber machine gun. Very similar to the 30 cal. Uh, nothing moves on it, with the exception of the uh, rear sights that flip up and down and the top cover. And once again, it's got a uh, welded on uh, bolt where you can latch on to your 50 cal uh, ammunition, uh, make it look a little bit more realistic. 
Uh, the same with the 30 cal. Uh, it's, it's hollow all inside, so you can fit your gas parts. Uh, and the same with the 30 cal, it is all powder coated and you can see uh, the wear already, once it's fitted to the mount, that takes place uh, without scraping off, which is, you know, you can't, can't be avoided. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a review of the two parts and then take some still images of the gun completely put together. Um, which is quite simple. Let me put this to one side so we can review the barrel. <clears throat> uh, the barrels uh, appears to be uh, two pieces of steel. Uh, this bit looks like it's separate. Once again, it's powder coated uh, and it's hollow all the way through. You can see here, there is a threaded uh, portion uh, and that basically threads onto a massive uh, bolt uh, at the other, at the main part of the Browning 50 calibre. Uh, and it screws together. Uh, the fit is nice and sturdy. Uh, I've got no issues with that at all. And as before, uh, especially with the uh, Browning, this is, you're looking at around two metres uh, distance from it to believe it's the real thing. Uh, anything closer and you'll know that it's not. Um, I'm not gonna bother screwing the barrel in because it basically is just screwing a barrel in. Like I said, I'll take some still images uh, of, of the guns uh, together uh, so you can see what they look like completed. Um, and that's about it. Uh, my personal experience of Crossfire uh, replicas are, they're a great little company. Um, they gave me a tour of their facilities um, and their communication was good and their prices were really uh, reasonable. Um, I, can't, I can't fault them. Uh, even from the point of uh, ordering it to delivery was about two weeks. Uh, and they even asked little things about how I wanted to spec the uh, the the handles. Um, this is kind of either Korea stroke Vietnam. This is set up for uh, predominantly Vietnam. Uh, so they uh, put it, put the black handles on rather than the uh, plain wooden ones, um, and they were just so uh, accommodating. Um, and like I say, I, I can't I can't fault them. And if I ever need to buy any other replicas, and they do do other replicas as well, then um, I highly recommend them uh, for your needs. Uh, I'll put details up, the contact details up uh, on the description, uh, so you know where to go to get them. Um, and that's about it. Uh, to finish up, uh, I suppose you're all interested in the price of uh, the two firearms. Um, you're looking at around uh, the £700 mark uh, for the two. Um, my advice would be to contact Crossfire Replicas and have a chat uh, with the guys there and see if they can work you out a deal. Uh, they did for me. Um, so I know what I paid and I'm comfortable. Uh, uh, with that, uh, suffice to say, it wasn't £700. Um, and yeah, um, my advice is just give them a call and have a chat. So as with all my videos, we're going to do the gallery next. Uh, and we're going to start off with the 50 cal. Uh, and here you can just see how the barrel joins uh, with the main body of the gun. And then uh, here's a nice... Uh, long shot of it all together uh, head-on shot um, and it does genuinely look like the real thing uh, further close-ups of the body you can see the rivet detail uh, that's put on there and where it's been welded 
And there's the trigger, uh, which is just a one piece uh, that's molded in with part of the uh, handle and the sight. Uh, and as I said, you're looking at a two, good two meter distance uh, before people start thinking to themselves, is that the real thing? Um, powder coating finish is really smooth and evenly applied. Uh, I can't fault it. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, overall uh, a good looking uh, addition to the, to the Jeep. Uh, more of the barrel. Uh, you can just see where it wears away, where it's threaded on, uh, and there's uh, more details of the thread. Um, overall length of the barrel is a fair representation. Uh, it's nice that it's detachable because it just means that you can stow it away easier. Um, uh, here's the, uh, the shroud uh, and uh, a little bit of the inside that you can see is just completely empty, uh, ready for your... Uh, gas plumbing. Uh, now moving on to the 30 cal, once again, two meter distance, looks all right, looks good. Um, um, you can see the trigger is just a welded on tab. The top cover lifts up uh, and you can put your belts of ammunition through there. Um, can't fault it. it. Do you know what? I prefer to spend my money on this uh, than a two and a half or two thousand pound deactivated firearm but the choice is yours uh, i hope you enjoyed the video all i ask is that if you do please like share uh, and subscribe and i'll catch you later